Today I'm teaching you how to do the percussive thumb slap I often do in my videos. For those who do not know what that is, it's this little it's this little thing um, a lot of guitars do to produce the sound of a drum along with our playing. And so a lot of you guys requested me to do this, I finally decided to do it, and I also found this free guitar tab maker. So you can go ahead and put out the tabs as well. It's four pages long, eight exercises. And you can find that by clicking this annotation right here or in the description box down below. Um, tabs are not the best quality because it is a free online tab maker, but at least I tried. So first off, how do you do the thumbs up? It's just a simple movement of the thumb, really. It's like when you're waving, except you're going to wave with your thumb. Except you're not going to do it as fast. You can do it slower. And just moving it back and forth basically. And when you move it here on the guitar, you're gonna bring down more force when you bring it down. You're basically hitting your thumb against your strings. Now you can slap it on the sixth string, the fifth string, or in between the, the space in between the sixth string and the fifth string. Um, and I oftentimes don't do it straight because if this is a string and this is me hitting it, then I feel like I might fall off. So I usually do it at an angled position instead of completely straight. I play it a little more angled. And so, yeah, that's basically how you do it. It may feel uncomfortable in the beginning, but you'll probably get used to it better. And so there's eight exercises on the tabs, and I'm first off going to play for you guys exercise one. That's all exercise. This exercise is basically to get you guys used to playing the thumb slap. So you're just going to play it multiple times until it feels comfortable enough. Um, the more you play it, the more you slap, the, the more it will be comfortable for you guys and the more easier it will become. Moving on to exercise two, this one has a little bass note in between, so I'll just play it for you guys. And this one, I want you guys to get used to playing some bass notes in between the slapping. So this bass note is really easy. You just put your second finger on the first fret on the sixth string, and then you slap in between. So it's really easy. And by the way, I'll be counting my fingers one, two, three, four, so I won't include the thumb. And I'll be counting the string as six, five, four, three, two, one. Moving on to exercise four, I mean three. Um, this one includes a little more notes than just the bass note, and I'll play it for you guys. And that's basically exercise three. So the first um, five exercises are really easy, basic, simple ones. And this one is um, based off some kind of G chord. I think it's a G major chord, except you're just going to add another note. And so this one, you're gonna, if those who know how to play this G chord, basically put, uh, it's an open third string, and then you're gonna put your third finger on the third fret on the sixth string, your fourth finger on the third, on the third fret on the first string. And so you're gonna play the sixth string, third string, second string, and first string all together. You're gonna play it together. is for you guys to get used to playing more notes than just the bass notes along slapping. Moving on to exercise four, again I'll play it for you guys again. So this one is getting more chords. Um, you're, so this one is the same G chord, except you're going to add another note. And that will be the first finger on the second fret on the fifth string. You're going to strum down all the chord, all the strings, and then slap. And then repeat it again. So this one, if you're a chord player, this is great for you because you're getting used to playing just the chord along something. Now normally you will play chords with the pick. But when you try to um, slap with the pick, it's kind of hard. So if you want to slap in between, then this is probably easier to do without a pick. Moving on to size 5, this is about changing chords, and again, I'll play it for you guys and break it down. So 
so now we're going to change chords. Um, so again, play the same chord as last time, the same G chord. And now we're going to do some type of C chord. Now, these two fingers are going to stay in the same position as they were on the last chord. You're just going to move these two fingers a string down. So you're going to move the third, second string. Now it's not going to be on the sixth string, it'll be on the fifth string. And now the first string, I mean the first finger will be on the, th on the fourth string. So the, basically these two fingers are moving down a string. And then uh, the third chord, these two fingers stay in the same position again. And now your first finger is going to go on the second fret on the fifth string. And your second finger are going to go on the second fret on the fourth string. Uh, strum down all the strings again. And then this last chord is a D major chord. And this one, you're just going to put your first finger on the second fret on the third string. Put your third finger on the third fret on the second string. And put your second finger on the second fret on the first string. And strum down. This time you're not going to strum down all the strings. You're going to strum down from the fourth string. And then you can repeat. So those are the four chords you play in exercise five. Moving on to exercise six, we have a little finger style now, and I'll play it for you guys. last time each of these exercises based off those four chords and now we're just gonna play them in fingers the hollow way so you're gonna play the sixth string third string second string first string and you're gonna slap and then you're gonna play the fifth string third string second string first string of the second chord and then the sixth string third string second string fourth, first first string and then you're gonna slap and then the fourth string third string second string so you're basically just gonna play the bass note and then the top two and the top three strings. So this basically has exercises. So this is for those fingerstyle players. Um, so you'll have fingerstyle with the slapping in between. Moving on to exercise seven. This is also fingerstyle with a chord in it. So. last exercise except we're going backwards and including a chord. So again, sixth string, third string, second string, first string, now you're going to go backwards. Now after you play the first string, you're going to play the second string, third string, and then the sixth string, third string, seventh string, first string, all together. You're going to slap, then play the bass note again, and the top three strings, and then go backwards, sixth string, first string, and then you're going to play the chord again. Exercise seven. Moving on to exercise eight. This is just oh, this is actually a little more harder. Um, this is just a little fun one I threw in, and I'll just play it for you guys. advanced than the other ones. Um, it will be a little hard to break down, but same chords again. And I'm just going to play six string, top two strings, slap, and then top three strings, and then the strings together, and then the bass note, and then the top three strings, and then slap, and then the bass note, top three strings, and then you can go to the next one. So it's kind of confusing at first. If you play it slow, it might sound a little weird. So 
this one is a little more complicated. Um, there is 16 notes. Now it's not only eighth notes, quarter notes. There's eighth notes and there's 16 notes. So the rhythm is a little more complicated. Um, but I'm sure you guys can find it out after a little while. And so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope this tutorial was useful. Um, and I hope that I explained it clearly enough. Of course, I'm not as good at teaching as the other teachers online, but um, a lot of you guys requested it, so I decided to do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and it was useful for you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!